My name's Dr Liz Steed. I work as an academic at Queen Mary's University of London. I've been a health psychologist for about 20 years. I think increasingly uh, we're moving towards a more biopsychosocial model of healthcare. And so naturally psychology is a key component of that. Whether that's looking at sort of factors which drive behaviour or the mechanisms of change or how we evaluate uh, behaviour and outcomes, psychology plays a central role. The health psychology lead, as I see it, it's got two main components. One is working with clients directly, particularly if they've got um, a very health psychology focused application. The other side is supporting our RDS advisors. So many of them have got good health psychology knowledge, but perhaps it's when they need a little bit more expertise, they can come to me and we can talk about it together. And also I try to make sure that any of the resources they have are up to date so that we can pass them on to clients. One of the nice things as a health psychologist is I have mixed methods um, experience so I can sort of advise on both qualitative work as well as quantitative work and how they meet together. RDS advisors can help throughout the whole application process really. Um, that can be from uh, looking at what funding body might be the most appropriate for your study. It can be in helping in developing the application. I think the aim of any research is to have patient benefit uh, and that's one of the key things which RDS works towards. So you can design a perfect intervention but if it's not going to be applied in a clinical practice then that's a limiting factor so I think that patient empowerment approach perhaps that we as health psychologists are trained at can often be a very helpful factor for the project overall. Health psychology is a growing field. I think uh, more and more research projects are recognising the importance of having health psychology input and I think it can make a really valuable addition to any team.